I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. You know, traveling across America day after day works us up one big appetite. So no matter where we go, we're on the lookout for the best lunch spot in town. Now, if the town happens to be Moonshine, Illinois, then people from hundreds of miles around know the best lunch spot in town is actually the only spot in town. In fact, it is the town. This is the sound of Lisa and Jackie Tuttle cooking up some meaty magic. They have a reputation for serving up the best burgers in Illinois and possibly the planet. Now, what's your record for a day? 3,362 in April of 2017. That's a lot of hamburgers. Mm -hmm. When describing this location, one customer said, it may not be in the middle of nowhere, but you can see it from there if you can see it over the corn crop. Moonshine sits just across the border from Indiana in the central part of Illinois. It's about 200 miles south of Chicago. So where did you guys drive from to have these burgers? Chicago, Illinois. Chicago. Gosh. Chicago. So that's like a three and a half hour drive. Yes. <gasps> mm -hmm. It's a destination. <laughs> but Chicago actually seems like next door when you start browsing through Moonshine's guest book. Arizona, Washington, Oregon. Georgia. A lot of people drive from a long ways, yeah. and some of them really do come just for a burger, but every once in a while you run across that person that we were their destination. How long ago did you hear about it? How long have you been wanting to come here? 12 years for me. <laughs> what? 12 years? You better order more than one. So if you think the Moonshine Burger Joint resembles an old-time general store, you're right. That's because it was constructed as one back in 1912. It became the place for locals to see and be seen. It was the first place that they had a TV. They came on Saturday nights. I mean, there's like, there's been a bowling boxing, team. Boxing, boxing ring set up outside. Oh, wow. In 1982, Helen and Roy Tuttle bought the store. In fact, for years, the population of Moonshine was only two. The two were Helen and Roy living above the store. They soon transformed it into a burger hotspot, somehow stumbling on the secret of creating a large, palate-pleasing burger like no other. Is there any secret? There is no secret. Well, my mother-in-law always said they were made with love. Yeah. We just make sure it's good and fresh yeah. beef. And it's hand patted every day. Roy has passed on, and Helen has since retired. So their daughters-in-law, Lisa and Jackie, are the next generation of Tuttles pressing on with the tradition, one patty at a time. I'm so glad when I heard that the girls were going to keep it going. It's just family legacy. Yes. <laughs> a typical day starts before 6 a.m. By 9, the grill is fired up and orders are placed. By 10, things are in full swing because in these parts, it's never too early in the day for a moonshine burger. You can also order other items like hot dogs and chicken patties, and they all come with the usual fixings. Well, except for one. I see signs that say, we don't have lettuce. What's the deal with that? We just, it's hard to handle and we just don't keep lettuce. We've never, never had, we've never had lettuce. What they lack in lettuce, they make up for in atmosphere. Apparently, if you're grouchy, irritable, or just plain mean, there will be a $20 charge for just putting up with you. I gotta get one of these for my office. There's no reason for it, it's just our policy. There's also the no time like quitting time policy. We shut the grill off at 12.30 and we close at one. All right, so if you're here at 12.30 and 30 seconds, good chance you're not gonna get a burger. <laughs> As the cars arrive, the clock is ticking. It's time to order. Okay, now I want a, a hamburger for an appetizer, so with onions and, and ketchup, and then I want a hamburger for my main chorus with onions and ketchup. And then Customers both. head to the pickup window outside. Thank you very much. And after a few minutes... Rodney? It's like music to our ears. That's your dessert. <laughs> and mm. a little taste of heaven in mm. our mouths. Mm. You're not going to want that one, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> I definitely drive two hours for this burger. No, oh, no. Rodney Miller, you would drive 12 <laughs> hours for this burger. Lisa shuts down the grill just as the clock strikes 12.30. 
It's another day well done. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.